And thanks for joining us this noon time. I'm Brandon Truitt. We start this afternoon with triple E concerns in Fairhaven, the community on high alert after a local woman reportedly died from the virus. Meantime, the first day of school is already underway. Kids were equipped with pens, paper, and now bug spray. Eyewitness News reporter Erica Ritchie has been tracking the story all throughout the day. She joins us with more local coverage from Fairhaven. It's back to school here in Fairhaven today, but this year, in light of the recent Triple E death here in town, it seems it's more the parents with the jitters. Oh, it's chilly. They secured their last minute hugs and kisses as the school bus approached Tuesday morning, bringing these elementary students in Fairhaven to the start of another school year. They were all smiles as they got on board. Their parents were too, offering one final wave before the bus took off, even reciting the expected back to school lines. I'm excited. I'm excited. I feel guilty for saying it, but I'm happy to send my little one back today. But one could argue that parents like Terry Audette were just putting on a brave face, deep down harboring concerns over the looming triple E threat. I'm very concerned because we, we just lost someone from Fairhaven and that there's been four cases I've read and it is concerning to me. It is for school officials in Fairhaven as well. They sprayed all school grounds in the town Monday out of an abundance of caution and the precautions extend beyond bug spray. They cancel recess for school because of the triple E. The superintendent says it's indoor recess at the two elementary schools and indoor phys ed classes at the middle and high schools Tuesday. That's in order to let the treatment settle on the properties before allowing students on them, much like you would lawn treatment at your home. The company that applies it is local, called Proficient. It assures the school department the solution it uses is 100% natural and safe. A comfort for parents like Audette, but certainly no reason to let your guard down. Wait, sorry. Oh, sorry. Let's get on you. That's oh, my oh my gosh, okay. I think we're calling oh it a day. Hey, don't laugh. I bet you would do the exact same thing if you knew that mosquito could be carrying a potentially deadly disease. Uh, seriously, though, we did see a lot of mosquitoes out here all morning long while we were out here outside of the high school, many of them after those peak hours. So continue to use precautions. The school department says it's going to do the same. The superintendent telling me that there's another spray scheduled for later this week. In Fairhaven, Erica Ritchie, Eyewitness News.